Okay, welcome YouTube. I'm Aniket and you're watching Web Study. So today we will discuss about the Cystosoma. This Cystosoma comes under the family Cystosomatidae and uh, these are known as the blood fluke. These are commonly known as the blood flukes. So, okay. okay, so Cystosoma are known as the blood fluke. Uh, they, because these flukes are found in the blood vessels of alimentary tract, nasal mucosa and urinary tract depending on the species uh, of animal and the uh, this parasite also right after this uh, uh, if we talk about the morphology then there is something uh, peculiar or different from other uh, flukes that this uh, uh, fluke is unisexual and in this the male the male parasite is uh, shorter and uh, it is thicker and it is having the gynecophoric canal this is the gynecophoric canal and in this gynecophoric canal it carries the female okay so the, the male are shorter and thicker and they have a gynecophoric canal uh, which is formed inwardly and in this they carry the female uh, and uh, apart from this if we talk about the egg there is also a peculiarity in their egg that the egg are embryonated thin shell non operculated transparent and the most important thing is that in their egg there is a lateral or terminal spine so if this question is very important it can be asked in your exam that uh, which parasite have a terminal spine in their egg that is the uh, cystosomatidae uh, family cystosoma right this is very important question which can be asked after this uh, we have some uh, you know some uh, species of the cystosoma like cystosoma uh, nasalis which is present in ruminant the host is ruminant and the location is the nasal vein as you can see nasal nasal vein after this we have the spindle ruminant horse and pig mesenteric vein and the portal vein location and uh, we have indicum we have incognitum which is present in pig and dog and mesenteric vein we have hematobium and the host for hematobium is the man and it is mainly present in the vein of uh, urinary tract vein of urinary tract right so these are the sp different species of uh, cystosoma after this uh, we have the, the life cycle of cystosoma so cystosoma life cycle starts with the laying of egg by the female female cystosoma lay egg in the vein depending on the species and uh, where the egg crosses the tissue wall and come to the lumen of the intestine urinary or nasal passage uh, right if it is uh, cystosoma nasalis it will come to the uh, nasal vein if it is uh, the spindle it will come to the mesenteric and if it is hematobium it will come to the urinary tract right so and this egg are passed out with the feces urine or nasal discharge yes again depending on the species respectively and uh, the embryonated egg so after this egg egg given and the, after that egg in egg there is embryonation takes place and egg hatch immediately after coming in contact with the water uh, this will lead to the release of miracidium after that miracidium will be released right this miracidium uh, what it will do this miracidium uh, will find the uh, host uh, for like snail for their for their development aquatic snails like endoplonorbis exostris and lumnia luteola these two uh, act as uh, host i will write up here endoplonorbis exostris endoplonorbis exostris and other one is the lumnia luteola these uh, two act as the intermediate host and this miracidium goes into the uh, snail right after that uh, these act as intermediate host after that development takes place and this miracidium convert to the sporocyst and this sporocyst further convert to the daughter sporocyst after uh, daughter sporocyst uh, this will convert to the cercaria uh, but uh, there is a peculiarity here uh, the first one is the the radius stage is absent here as you can see radius stage is not present right after that the cercaria which is formed here is is different from other cercaria as i have already told you this uh, that the cercaria here is the furco circus cercaria it means the tail portion is divided into two parts that is more most important thing here right so the cercaria is formed and the cercaria and the third thing which is important or peculiar or of this that this cercaria is the infective stage right here uh, normally meta cercaria is the infective stage but here cercaria is the infective stage and uh, the cercaria leave the host five to ten weeks after the infection and swim in the water with their bifurcate tail and this is known as the furco circus cercaria this question is very important and can be asked in your exam 
so what is farco circa cercaria and in which parasite it is present right so the answer is cystosoma cercaria is the last larval stage and in the infective stage for the final host an animal get infection when they come in contact with the with this cercaria and it may be uh, through the water for drinking or feeding and this cercaria may also penetrate the host through the skin mostly right and uh, the penetration it after go uh, when it goes to the humans or the other animal uh, like a ruminant uh, if we talk about uh, about the ruminant then it will cross the uh, rum rumen and come into the blood circulation and cercaria uh, then transfer into the cystosomiae which uh, convert to the adult and go to their respective site and same with the uh, humans right so this uh, uh, cercaria convert to the cystosomiae circulation mein jayega and then it will be converted to the adult right so this is the life cycle and uh, it is simple and the uh, as i told you about the lateral spine this is the lateral spine jo maine abhi aapko bata tha ki ek spine present hoti hai right so this is the spine so as i already told you about the morphology so this is the actual picture of a male so this is the male and inside the this this canal this is known as the gynecophoric canal and in this gynecophoric canal we have this female okay so this is the actual picture after this we have the pathogenesis so the main pathogenesis in this case uh, mainly we study about the uh, cystosoma nasalis because this is uh, the main importance of the veterinary or the ruminants so uh, cystosoma nasalis basically causes the nasal granuloma which is uh, also known as the nasal cystosomiasis or the snoring disease so why we call this the snoring disease because uh, the egg when the eggs are deposited in the vein of nasal mucosa what will happen the uh, sub mucosa initiate the inflammatory granulomatous reaction and due to this there will be the obviously if there is inflammation there will be the infl uh, infiltration of the leukocyte uh, lymphocyte like lymphocyte and eosinophil so after this what will happen the fibrous tissue formation occur and the proliferation of uh, nasal epithelium occur by this proliferation occur uh, fibrous tissue occur to just to localize uh, the uh, the eggs right so after this uh, a lesion is formed which is known as a cauliflower like granulomatous growth so this is the typical lesion of this uh, cauliflower like granulomatous growth and this is developed in the nasal passage and uh, it is mainly found in the cattle so this is the main pathogenesis and uh, if uh, this question is asked in your exam then you should write the cauliflower like granulomatous growth this is the this word is very important in this case if you write this word then you will get the full marks and if you do not write do not write this word and you write the other things you may not get the full marks right so this is very important cauliflower like uh, granulomatous growth snoring disease and nasal granuloma these three terms are very important in pathogenesis try to remember these three terms and write in your exam right after this we have symptoms obviously if this is uh, affecting the nasal or the you can say the uh, uh, upper respiratory so what will happen the signs will be the Uh, upper respiratory related to the upper respiratory tract so here this sneezing snoring sound snoring means karate right so snoring sound why there is uh, snoring sound is produced because there is obstruction there is growth so this will produce the sound air will produ produce the sound when it is uh, when it is passing through that passage okay so that is why snoring sound is produced and uh, obviously there is inflammation so due to this there is a sneezing difficulty in breathing because the passage is narrowed uh, due to the granulomatous growth and uh, obviously there is the granulomatous growth and uh, mucoporolent discharge and coryzea as you can see in this case right after this we have the diagnosis part and the diagnosis uh, diagnosis is important in this case clinical diagnosis uh, in the diagnosis we have the four terms mainly the clinical diagnosis parasitological diagnosis post mortem diagnosis and the immuno diagnosis the first one is the clinical diagnosis this is an important tool uh, and you can diagnose this uh, uh, due to the mainly the clinical sign like coryzea snoring sounds sneezing mucopurulent discharge but in case of hepatointestinal cystosomiasis there will be the diarrhea anemia and anorexia so depending upon the species uh their uh, clinical sign may change but this may not uh, differential or rule out the other disease okay because signs may be similar with the other diseases also so this is just a tentative diagnosis after this we have the parasitological diagnosis in parasitological diagnosis we have the examination of nasal discharge of the feces uh for the presence of parasite egg the peculiar character of uh, uh, this is that the nasal scraping uh may contain the boomerang shape embryonated egg so the egg of cystosoma nasalis is boomerang shape this question is very important and can be asked in your exam okay 
आई एम टेलिंग यू दी इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो हमारे पेपर में पूछे गए थे जब हम पहली बार पढ़ रहे थे मुझे नहीं पता था कि क्या क्वेश्चन इंपॉर्टेंट है क्या नहीं इंपॉर्टेंट है ठीक है बट मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि क्या चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है क्या चीज बार बार पूछी जाती है पेपर के अंदर इसके अलावा कुछ भी पढ़ी है बट जिस टॉपिक से जो जो पूछा जाता है वो मैं आपको सब बता रहा हूँ राइट सो बुमरेंग शेप इसका हमारा सिस्टोसोमा नेजेलिस का हमारा एग होता है ठीक है ये चीज याद रखिएगा ये आप कहाँ पर देखेंगे सिर्फ नेजल स्क्रैपिंग के अंदर देखेंगे राइट इसके अलावा हमारा हिपैटो इंटेस्टाइनल सिस्टोसोमियासिस के केस में आप स्पेंडल या ओवल शेप एग देख सकते हैं इसके अलावा टर्मिनल स्पाइनिस के अंदर देखने के लिए मिलेगी इसके बाद हम बात करते हैं पोस्टमार्टम डायग्नोसिस की और पोस्टमार्टम डायग्नोसिस ब्लड फ्रॉम द हिपैटिक नेजल वेन इज कलेक्टेड एंड If it is present in the mid entry, then it should be cut in the small pieces, and it should be kept in saline for six to eight hours and search for the flukes. After this, we have the immunodiagnosis. Obviously, uh, infection elicits a good immunological response, and it can be diagnosed uh, by uh, different serological tests. Like the most peculiar um, test in this. इज सी एच आर ये आप याद कर लीजिएगा क्योंकि ये बाकियों के अंदर शायद आपको देखने के लिए नहीं मिलेगा. The full form of this test is the circarian रिएक्शन ये पूछा जा सकता है कि सर्केरियल ह्यूलिन रिएक्शन किस पैरासाइट के अंदर हम करते हैं सी एच आर तो ये याद रखिएगा सिस्टोसोम के अंदर हम करते हैं सर्केरियल ह्यूलिन रिएक्शन ठीक है फिर इसके बाद इसका इसके अलावा हम इसके अंदर रिंग प्रेसिपिटेशन टेस्ट भी कर सकते हैं बेंटोनी बेंटोनाइट फ्लोटेशन टेस्ट भी कर सकते हैं डॉट अलाइसा भी कर सकते हैं ठीक है इसके अलावा वी हैव दी ट्रीटमेंट इन द ट्रीटमेंट पार्ट वी हैव द प्रोजिक्वेंटल Praziquantel at the rate of 20 mg per kg body weight you can give. Uh, apart from this, we have other several anti-cystosomal drugs like antimony compounds, uh, nitrodazole, but they basically show the hepatic shift, and uh, as a result, there will be this temporary cessation of the egg. And we have to avoid this, so we use the praziquantel, and the efficacy is 100%. The praziquantel given in a single dose only, right? After this, we have the treatment. For treatment, the control of infected man and animal can be done, and uh, the control of snail as we uh, did in the fistula. So this can be done. Uh, so this is the uh, treatment and control. Now we have the uh, cercarial dermatitis. So what is cercarial dermatitis and how it is related to the cystosome? Uh, remember this. This is the most important thing, and obviously this question will ask in your exam. पूछा ही जाएगा ये क्वेश्चन में चाहिए फिल इन द ब्लैंक में पूछा जाए चाहिए किसी भी फॉर्म में पूछा जाए बट दिस क्वेश्चन कैन नॉट बी स्किप्ड ये पूछा जाएगा ठीक है तो बहुत ध्यान से सुनिएगा और इस क्वेश्चन को याद कर लीजिएगा कि वट इज सर्केरियल डर्मेटाइटिस कुछ नहीं बहुत इजी है Uh, अभी हमने क्या पढ़ा कि uh, ये सिस्टोसोम के हमने सर्केरियाज uh, के बारे में पढ़ा तो हम सर्केरियल डर्मेटाइटिस क्या होता है इसके बारे में हम देखेंगे तो सबसे पहले हम इसके कॉमनली uh, क्या अदर नेम्स हैं इसके वो देख लेते हैं इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज दी स्विमर्स इच ठीक है स्विमर इच भी बोला जाता है इसके अलावा हम इसे और क्या बोलते हैं प्लैम डिगर्स इच अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस हंटर्स इच और राइस पैडी इच ठीक है तो ये सारे नाम इसके हैं अब ये एक्चुअल में होता क्या है इट इज अटिक डिसीज ठीक है एंड ऑक्यूपेशनल हेजार्ड यहां पर क्या होता है कि ह्यूमन uh, डेवलप करता है सिम्टम्स जब वो कॉन्टेक्ट में आता है वॉटर के पेनिट्रेशन ऑफ सर्केरी ऑफ नॉन ह्यूमन सिस्टोसोम जो भी स्पीशीज होंगी सिस्टोसोम की जो कि नॉन ह्यूमन है मतलब कि वो ह्यूमन को अफेक्ट नहीं करती है ठीक है नॉन ह्यूमन सिस्टोसोम उनके जो सर्केरिया बन रहे हैं ये सर्केरिया जब पेनिट्रेट करेंगे स्किन को ह्यूमन की स्किन को जब ये पेनिट्रेट करेंगे ना तब ये हमारे ऐसे लीजन हमारे प्रोड्यूस करेंगे ठीक है तो याद रखिएगा नॉन ह्यूमन सिस्टोसोम्स जब पेनिट्रेट करेंगे तब ये ऐसे लीजन प्रोड्यूस करते हैं अब जैसे कि इसके अंदर एग्जाम्पल क्या जाते हैं नॉन ह्यूमन सिस्टोसोम्स के हम एवियन सिस्टोसोम्स की हम बात कर सकते हैं इसके अंदर जैसे कि इसके अंदर है हमारा एक एग्जाम्पल के लिए हम बता सकते हैं जयजेंटो बिल्हर्जिया ठीक है, इट इज अ इट इज हमारा क्या प्रोड्यूस करेंगे माइल्ड एरेमा और एडेमा सबसे पहले क्या प्रोड्यूस होगा माइल्ड एरेमा एंड एडेमा एडेमा प्रोड्यूस होगा इसके बाद क्या हो जाएगा यही माइल्ड एरेमा एडेमा हमारा कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा पेप्युलर इराप्शन में पेप्युलर 
इराप्शन में ये कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा एंड फिर उसके बाद क्या होगा प्रोराइटिस भी होगा प्रोराइटिस भी होगा ठीक है इसके बाद हमारा यहाँ पर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑफ पस होगा ठीक है ड्यू टू द सेकेंडरी बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन तो ये हमारे आपको यहाँ पे यही चीजें याद रखनी है पैथोजेनासिस के अंदर ये सारे टर्म्स आपके आने चाहिए तभी आपको मार्क्स मिलेंगे ठीक है तो जो सर्केरियल डर्मेटाइटिस है वो हो किस रही है वो हमारी हो रही है नॉन ह्यूमन सिस्टोसोम के सर्केरिया जब ह्यूमन्स को पेनिट्रेट करेंगे स्किन से पेनिट्रेशन करेंगे तब ये हमारा इस टाइप के लीजन प्रोड्यूस करेंगे ठीक है अब इससे हमें प्रिवेंशन अगर करना है या ट्रीटमेंट करना है तो इसका हम क्या कर सकते हैं तो हम सिंपल सा है कि हम रिपेलेंट यूज कर सकते हैं जब भी हम वाटर के अंदर जाएं तो रिपेलेंट के अंदर हमारा क्या आ सकता है रिपेलेंट के अंदर हमारा आ सकता है डाय ब्यूटाइल थेलेट ठीक है डायब्यूटाइल uh, थेलेट हम इसमें यूज uh, कर सकते हैं ठीक है इसके अलावा हम बेंजाइल बेंजोएट भी यूज कर सकते हैं Benzoate. Benzoate and uh, diethylate uh, can be used on the skin or wearing the waterproof cloth. आप इसे अवॉइड कर सकते हैं सो so, इतना सब कुछ था हमारे सिस्टोसोम्स के अंदर और ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है ये आपको याद रखना ही होगा ठीक है थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज प्रेज थम्स अपन सब्सक्राइब टू बेस्ट